Charis Missionary Church. My name is uh, Pastor MK. Uh, we are coming from Swaziland. And the lady beside me is my wife. Her name is uh, Buisi Lekwekam. I mean, she's also a pastor wife. Mm. The problem that brought us here, we were having a lot of problems with our marriage, where the, the more greater problem that we were facing. We were facing also a problem with the ministry, that there was also a very great issue. We were trying to know about the God opinion about our marriage, because we've been fighting a lot. There was a lot of disagreement among us. And we couldn't really figure out where that was coming from. And on my own side, there was a lot of anger in my heart. I believe that I was, uh, I was frustrated by one way or other. And then there was, uh, there was no way I was able to really see say, my wife was suffering because of that. Uh, on the other side, she was really suffering because of that, because she was even threatening by herself to be able to leave the marriage. And some people was even by the side, maybe try to encourage her. And then that was really affecting us. I didn't really, I was not really aware of that because I've been trying as a man to provide for my family, fighting to be able to be on also between the, the business and the ministry and the family. I believe that was also a lot of responsibility around me. And that is the reason that brought us here, because we really need to find a solution. In life where we have a problem, don't be just like a, don't believe, don't believe that the problem you are going to disappear by yourself. You need to really be able to find the solution. And my deliverance starts since yesterday, where the apostle just walked to me and started telling me about where is my wife. And he said to me, say there's a lot of problem to our marriage. Say this could cause every divorce that my wife confirmed yesterday. She confirmed it again every today. And she said also many things that I was not aware of, that I am very happy about it. Because I believe the confession is the one that brings revelation and the one that brings deliverance and freedom. Amen. So I am very happy about all that. And the men of God also go further to talk about the ministry. He tell me about, say, God really truly called me. And the assignment is very great. And that is where I am facing many problems. And he say, most of the problems are coming from where I, where I was born mean from my family. And I also confirmed that to be true because I was born from an idol family and from a polygamy house. Well, my father have three women, three wives. And that also will be one of the reasons that I'll be fighting very hard to keep my marriage together because I don't want to have another wife. I don't want to marry any other, I don't want to marry any other woman. Uh, I saw what polygamy home can do to a home. I see destroying all my family completely. I am not really proud about that. I thank God so much today because if he reveal, if the apostle reveals so many things like that, it means God is aware of every case that is over my life. He is giving me a lot of peace into my heart. I am very, very happy about that. And then about the ministry, I was also confused because according to my revelation and all the dreams I've been having, I've been really struggling to really know who I am, uh, really to be able to really accept who I am because I was believing, I knew already, say, I'm a prophet, mm -hmm. but you need to have a confirmation that the apostle confirmed today. And he said to me, say, the assignment is very great, that's why there's too many problems. Mm -hmm. And I confirmed it to be true. Mm -hmm. And Prophet Henry was, Henry's also tell me about the pastors that are raising to fight me. Mm -hmm. It's something that God has shown me already in the vision. Mm -hmm. He showed me and said to me clearly, say, I will be aware of pastors. Mm -hmm. So there are many pastors where they are going to raise they are going to rose to fight me. And then I was very confused about that because I believe say pastors are called by God and they are here to serve God. And I was believing together we can be able to fight the same battle together. In my greater surprise, I was very surprised to hear say they are the one that want to rise against me. Uh, I'm not here to take the member of anyone. Yeah. I am here believing say God have an assignment for me. Maybe you can be a member to any church. If you God assigned me to deliver you, as I always do, I always deliver people and say to them, you, you are no, my responsibility is to deliver you. You are no force. I don't want to see you sitting here. If you have a responsibility in your church, you must go back to your own church. Because I believe that the greater assignment that God gave to me is to be able to save his people, not to be able to gather them, to keep them for myself. Yes, and that will be my assignment. And that year I've been very encouraging because I've been worshiping, watching him. More especially in YouTube, yeah. I even put internet in my house just because of that, mm -hmm. to be able to be not escape any life services. Mm -hmm. 
to be able to wash him. And I always ask my wife to wash mommy as a role model mm. because mommy is so inspiring and the way she has been supporting daddy. And then I've been praying and say God must raise us Amen. to be an example Hallelujah. for this house. Mm. We may not be yet known as the children of this house, mm. but for me, I believe say all start in the spirit. If you behave in the right way, you are really, I mean, see what the apostle has been saying about many children that he raised. Mm -hmm. And God has showed to me in many ways, say, this is my house. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how to be able to ask that to the apostle. Mm -hmm. I've been praying to my heart and say, I know the apostle is always say, like, mm -hmm. he's talking to me, say, I, uh, I don't want to raise people again. People have been disappointing me. But he loved pastor with all his heart. Mm -hmm. He loved men of God with all his heart. Mm -hmm. He always revealed everything that is concerning your ministry without holding anything back. Mm -hmm. And that has always be my mission. I thank God so much today because the apostle also says, say, I was not taking very good care of my wife. Mm -hmm. That I promised the apostle, say, I'm going to do everything to be able to do, to appeal to her. Mm -hmm. And then I take this opportunity also to appeal to her and say, my wife, whatsoever was in your heart, mm -hmm. please, we are here in the house of God. The apostle told you, say, most of the problem is coming from where I was born. Yeah. Maybe all the difficulty I went through my childhood, mm -hmm. And that may be uh, the cause of that what has been happening to our marriage. Mm -hmm. I am here to appeal to you, say, if we go back, please, let just, as I was sitting there, I say, God is about to open a new page. Mm -hmm. May that page be really open to us. Mm -hmm. And we'll be able to really be a family. Mm -hmm. We are two beautiful sons there that God has blessed us with. Mm -hmm. And every day when I look at them, I don't want to find them as I find myself in the past. And that I will do everything to be able to keep my family together. And with the help of God, I know say, God is going to help us. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to help us because I know say is a faithful God. I know say is always do what He has promised to do. So please, my wife, accept my apologies and really forgive me from the bottom of your, of your heart. Maybe it was all this demon that I've been delivered from, from yesterday that have been pursuing me, torturing me to not be able to really show you the true love. I believe say, we are going to grow to be the example in this house Amen. and to many people are going to learn from us also in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank God so much for my deliverance, mm -hmm. for my healing, for God's direction, for everything that the Apostle has touched today is too much. I cannot be able to say all of them here. Let's speak on your side. Um, you got the opportunity to be prayed for, and I believe uh, this issue of your marriage, your husband not really taking care of, he really affected you. What is really happening to you? Explain to us what is really happening. My name is uh, Mrs. Quickham, and beside me is my husband. So it was a lot that was happening in my marriage that I couldn't even speak about. It was just eating me inside. Like I was so depressed, thinking a lot, a lot of things. But today I thank God for the man of God, for the deliverance, for the healing. I'm very happy and excited. Thank you, Jesus. I'm short of words. Don't today. <laughs> Yesterday when they prayed for you, you nearly smiled, but today you're smiling. How are you feeling? And after your husband apologized and he, the man of God really explained to you what was really happening, how are you feeling right now? I'm very happy. I'm very excited. Thank you, Jesus, for everything, for answering our prayer. Are you ready to go back to your marriage? Yes, I'm ready to go forward and fight forward forever in Jesus' mighty name. And say, I believe it took you courage 
you, you had to break your pride. You had to listen to God to come here and say, even though I'm a pastor, people are looking unto me. I don't care. I'm going because even me, I'm a human. I have my own weaknesses. And I believe that today God is turning your situation to be a testimony to many servants of God out there. Words of encouragement that you can give to them. What I can say to all the servants of God there is what? Number one, before I even leave, I even gather my church first and tell them, say I've been praying for you people and deliverance have been happening, healing have been happening. But me, myself also, I need to be prayed for. I have to go outside there to be able to be prayed for so I can be able to come back to be strong. As a man of God, most of men of God, I believe in the past, they have always believed in the way God called you. It means that all is finished. Actually, I believe say, that is the beginning of our journey because that is the beginning of all foundation. All the life you was living on the past is going, every, all the things you have been done, you have been doing on the past, that is the time to break all those foundation and lay the new one. Yeah. And you cannot do that without somebody, without a guardian. Amen. For somebody that be in ministry for many years, like our father in this house, the apostle that be a very great support. He have be just, not just, not just the physical way that I come here. He have be appearing to me in many opportunities, in many occasions in the dream, praying for me. And that I want to encourage any man of God, say please, break your pride. That will never reduce anything to you. Actually, it's going to increase you. When you will come here, you will see your church changing. You will see your life changing. You will feel like a newborn baby like as I am today. You will feel like jumping and bouncing. I am feeling so light. I am feeling like I am just, like every my marriage, I'm having a lot of confidence now going home. Knowing say now we are going to be strong. Please, you may be having so many problems and you have been pastoring and pastoring people and see them getting healed, seeing them getting delivered, and you are asking yourself, when is it going to be your turn? I'm encouraging you today to take a step just to come to South Africa, Amen. attend this, sir, William Mandela. If you don't know the address, you can also contact me if you know me. I will give you the address so you can come here for your healing, for your deliverance, and you'll never regret it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that today the word of God that says who finds a wife, finds a favor and obtains favor from God. I believe that that favor as you continue to take care of your wife shall be shown in Jesus name and I believe that as the man of God and the prophet of God have declared in your life, you shall surely come back with a testimony to tell us that you are conquering and all your enemies are shocked by what God is doing unto your life in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus.